welcome back to another interview. This week our guest left the bridge he lives under to come join us for a chat. The biggest troll of them all, Tater Chan. Thanks for taking the time to join me to tape Potato Chan. You are actually the exact person I want to see right now. Thanks? You've been surprisingly tough to track down. It seems you don't do interviews all that often. I'm not even sure how I managed to get you here. You kind of have to get lucky. I mean, yeah. It sort of seems that way. Why are you so reluctant to do interviews? I have no idea. You have made some popular troll levels in Mario Maker. Can you tell me a little bit about your thought process going into making a level? I don't think very well. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm actually dumb. You have managed to outthink so many Mario Maker players, and you think that you're dumb? Definitely you. You totally know about this. Wait, are you calling me dumb now? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? <laughs> no, not really, actually. All right, maybe we can get this interview back on the rails. Yeah, that does not look like it's going to work. You've made a lot of levels for Carl, and have even worked with him on a few. How would you describe him to those who might not know the real Carl? <laughs> what a terrible troll. I mean, we all know that. We've seen the unethical things he tries to pass off as benevolence. But he must have more layers than that. Don't think so. Okay. Well, when he was here, Carl kinda sorta admitted to killing his competition. Any idea how he gets away with it? Yeah, you just make Potato Chan do it for you. Wait, what? Are you saying you're Carl's accomplice? This all makes sense now. Pieces are starting to fall into place. What else can you tell me? We have, we have brought Defender to the dark side. Defender 2? This goes even deeper. You are young and it isn't too late for you. Have you ever tried to stop Carl from executing his crazy plans? It doesn't work. There must be some way of reasoning with him. How about no? So how does this make you feel? It must have a psychological effect on you after a while. Yeah, honestly, I like I think it's funny, but it's kind of a bad idea. So if you think it's a bad idea, why don't you just say no? Or maybe turn Carl in? Oh, you know what? That would be great. You know what? Why didn't I not think of this? Well, I feel the sarcasm coming off that response. Let's just go back into your levels. What differentiates between a good and a bad troll creator? Nobody cares if it's a good or bad troll. Let me rephrase. When you make a setup, what is your biggest priority? Oh my god, I hope this gets everyone. <laughs> okay. This has definitely been one of the more awkward and, well, disturbing interviews I've done. My spaghetti extends outside of Mario Maker. Fair enough. Do you have any regrets coming here today? You have no idea how happy I am right now. We did it. <laughs> oh, well, good. Thanks again for joining us. Remember, if you want to follow Potato Chan, his information is in the description below. Welcome back to another interview. This week we're. Thanks for taking the time to join me today, Potato. You have made some of the most popular troll levels in Mario Maker, and also have done some work with. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, be sure to like the video, and please consider subscribing to see more content like this in the future. Remember, you can catch me live most nights at twitchtv default and you can follow me on Twitter at default as well. See you next time.